Hello everybody, my name is Zach, aka The Weather Gamer, bringing you week three of PCF, uh, Phoenix Cup Federation. Chicago Bear Ticks taking on the OKC Thunderous. I did not hit go live this time, so whoops, I accidentally was streaming this team builder when I meant to record it. Um, we're all good, I got this. I'm a professional, I swear. So we are rocking, we are 0-2 minus 9, after that embarrassing 6-0 loss. Um, video's up, go take a look at it. Uh, we are rocking with the new team, the fully rebuilt team, thanks to Connor uh, Phillips, I believe is his name on Discord. No, he's Flair. He's Flair Espion on uh, Discord, but he's his name is Connor. Um, anyways, thanks to Connor for rebuilding the team for me. Uh, we're rocking with Zero Aura, Nine Tails, Mandibas, Buy Sharp for this week only. We did trade Connor. Um, with some help from Shadow, we were able to get. Salazzle, and then I traded Salazzle to Connor, and he traded me Mimikyu, and Bisharp went away. Um, so Bisharp is only here for this week. Savali, Chandelier, Tyrantrum, Espeon, Venomoth, Claydol, and Mega Gyarados. My opponent, not the Egyptian Lucario, has already played them. There we go. Okay, see, Thunderous. They're 1 on 1 minus 3 with. That disgusting Clefable, Skarmory, Mamoswine, Alakazam, Arcanine, Zarina, Mian Chao, Gastrodon, Stun Tank, Masquerade, and Mega Am Ampharos. So I'm going to go ahead and switch this over here so we can see Showdown and change my look. There we go. Now we can see the team. And we are all good to go. Um, I'll fix that here in a little bit. So, we, to start it off, we have Ghost Demon Z uh, Chandelure with Substitute, Calm Mind, Shadow Ball, Fire Blast, um, Max Special Attack, Max Speed, Timid Nature, so we are boosting our speed this time, Flash Fire Ability um, for the Arcanine, if it wants to try and drop Flare Blitzes, we'll absorb that, and then our Fire Blast hit even harder. Um, I'm trying to find, um, trying to find my thing here, um, where'd my sheet, where'd my sheet go? Oh, come on, computer, let's not do this. So, uh, behind, I can set up a sub on Clefable and run, set up pretty easily on Clefable, there's not much it can really do to touch me. Um, and then once I get set up, I can just start ripping through the team. The Shadow Ball is to hit the Gastro. That's why we're running Ghost Z. Um, Ghost Z Shadow Ball will take down the Gastrodon, um, and keep it from being able to break my sub. And then we just fire off moves behind my sub, um, once we set up. That sort of thing. Um, this is all, like, Connor's baby, um. He legit built this team for me this week. Um, IVs, EVs, all that. Um, um, and he's the one that put this together. I'm trying to scroll back up to where we talked about what this team's supposed to do because I don't remember off the top of my head exactly what... Um, exactly what this team is supposed to be doing. I'm looking for it right now. Sorry guys, I should have pulled this up. Because um, he basically built this team and told me exactly how to play it um, versus my opponent. So it's very, very... I'm very, very grateful for it. And the only reason that I had him help me with that and the only reason he's continuing to help me with it, I'm looking at Discord right now, trying to scroll up and find the whole big paragraph that he sent me of this is what you need to do uh okay there it is so um chandelier just sets up uh savali ground here um with multi-attack so it's a ground type attack defog toxic and parting shot um it's here to block his mega amphros from volt switching on me um the way it's ev'd allows it to avoid it to hit KO from Dragon Pulse um, if he's modest. 
Max Special Attack, um, Amphros. Um, the idea was hopefully he would try to Volt Switch on me, um, and Savali could come in based on my team, and Savali could come in, block that, and then um, force him to hard switch, or I uh, kill him with multi attack if he tries to D Pulse to shot me. Um, if Scar, if he had Skarmory, then I parting shot out with Savali. Um, if he doesn't have um, Skarmory, then I Toxic. And if I hit the Clefable, um, and I it's unaware, then he takes damage. So I know whether it's Magic Guard or unaware um, Clefable, which determines how well um, setting up is. If it's not unaware Clefable, like if it's Magic Guard Clefable, then Chandelure just sets up on it all day. Um, same with Espeon, being able to set up Espeon's Calm Mind, Morning Sun, Stored Powered, Baton Pass, so I can um, Calm Mind set up in front of Clefable, and then if he starts damaging me, I just Morning Sun to heal. Stored Power runs through a good chunk of his team. Um, I think he has Stung Tank is his only thing that doesn't get hit by Stored Power. I'm going to go pull up his roster real quick again. Yeah, Stun Tank is the only thing that really does not, is the only thing immune to Stored Powered, so I can basically run, uh, run through with Stored Power at that point, or I can Baton Pass the setup into um, something else like Alolan Ninetales or Chandelure, can get free setup from Espeon. Um, The other option with um, Sovali is not necessarily to Toxic against the Clefable, but to go ahead and just um, parting shot around into Chandelure. That was another strat we talked about. Um, with um, Mandibuzz here. And I'll go through and I'll talk about each thing. I'm just talking right now about what they're supposed to do, and then we'll talk about the spreads and all that. Um, or no, we won't. We'll just go here. Foul play, Roost, to Toxic with Mandibuzz. So Mandibuzz should avoid a Tuco from um, like a Reckless, Jolly, Scarf, Bean, Shell, High Jump Kick. Um, according to Connor, about 98% of the time I survive that. Um... I am fast enough to outspeed Arcanine, and then I can taunt it, um, so it can't heal, I'm assuming is what he was trying to get me to do, so it couldn't heal. Um, I do out, or beat, um, with this I do beat Skarmory 1v1, um, I just taunt it to stop it from setting hazards, um, Tailwind, Whirlwind, uh, that sort of thing, and then I just foul play it to death, um, roosting when I need to. Lefties and Overcoat, so we don't take hail damage. Um, this is just a bulky tank, basically. Um, back to the Espeon. So it can outrun non-scarfed Man Shao um, at this speed. Um, at plus one, plus one, I Oko it. Man Shao with Stored Power. I can be unaware Clefable 1v1 because Stored Power's base goes up and up and up. Um, even though I don't keep the boost, the base power of stored power goes up, which is something I'm going to have to remember when I play this match. The thing is, is I don't, I don't know how stored power works and all that, so I don't necessarily, I won't necessarily remember this. I should make a help sheet. I will have Connor's things pulled up. I just have to remember that just because he might be unaware Clef, doesn't mean that stored power's base power is 20 across the board type of thing. Um, but I have a feeling I'm going to forget that. Um, if Espeon, or if Stun Tank comes and wants to Pursuit Trap Espeon, because Espeon can't touch it, I can Baton Pass into Alolan Ninetales. Alolan Ninetales is holding the Icicle Plate Snow Cloak, so not Snow Warning. Encore, Moonblast, Nasty Plot, Freeze Dry. Um, the reason we're not running uh, Hail was for... Uh, why weren't we running Hail, Connor?
Hurts Morning Sun on Espeon. That's why we weren't running Hail. Was to make sure Espeon could heal fully with Morning Sun. Um, so Encore, I can if I need to Baton Pass, I Baton Pass into this. I Encore the Stun Tank into Pursuit. And then I can set up Nasty Plot for free. And basically Alolan Ninetales at plus two shreds his entire team. Um, Skarmory doesn't appreciate it. Mamo doesn't take two uh moon blast alakazam doesn't take a moon blast arcanine doesn't take a moon blast arena does not appreciate freeze dry mian Shao doesn't take a moon blast gastro doesn't take a freeze dry stun tank doesn't take a freeze dry or a moon blast i don't believe masquerade doesn't take a freeze dry Amphrost doesn't take a moon blast so it's free setup um freeze dry kills Gastro, which is why we're not running that over Ice Beam. Um, Ice Beam, Oko's Scar, but Freeze Dry doesn't. Okay, so that's where we were there. Um, Gyarados is here to check Vamber Swine. It is Intimidate Gyarados. I did find out this week you don't have to Mega Evolve first turn. You can, you have to carry the Mega Stone, but you don't have to Mega Evolve first turn. I love that. So Gyarados can intimidate his Mamoswine over and over and over again. And then Mega Evolve, we are running Waterfall, Earthquake, Dragon Dance, Taunt. Um, just basically set up in the sweep. This actually should be Mega Gyarados. Not standard Gyarados. Male, shiny. I just lost my entire thing. Um, earthquake. Waterfall, Dragon Dance, and Taunt. So, I just lost all my stats over here. I'll have to get them back from Connor. Um, or maybe I can find them here. Connor, did you send me... Um, where's the sets, Connor, that you sent me? I know you sent a, oh, there it is, um, there it is, okay, drag that over here, uh, Jolly, so we were plus, okay, plus two, by two, and where'd the other four go, defense, okay, there we go, we're back, we got this thing fixed, uh, plus, uh, minus for Jolly, there we go, okay, so, um, that's fixed. I just had to go look for it. Um, back to where I was. Gyarados is the check to Bambo. Um, Mold Breaker ignores Storm Drain for Gastrodon. Again, another thing I'm going to have to remember. So, Stored Power and Mold Breaker are the two things that I absolutely need to remember tomorrow. Otherwise, I could misplay and screw this matchup pretty badly. Um, this thing is faster than Jolly Mammo. EQ Rex, um, Mega Amphi, Taunt, um, means I can beat the Skarmory, uh, Skarmory was sturdy, Mold Breaker beats sturdy, I have to remember Mold Breaker tomorrow or I'm gonna be screwed, making switches I don't need to, um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of what the game plan that, um, Connor sent me. But we're rocking with the Chandelier. Here goes the sub, Calm Mind, Shadow Ball, Fire, Blast, Timid. We have Savali Ground here, acting as basically a pivot and a Clefable check um, to see what type it is. Um, again, I, I know this is a little bit of a weird team builder, guys, because I'm reading off of Connor's notes and I didn't actually like put the team together myself. This is brand new team that I don't know how to use yet, and so... Connor has basically built this baby for me. Going forward, I should be able to build this a little better. Each week, I'll be able to build more and more and more of this team um, as I see how it works, as I play it, and it, I get a feel for how it operates. Um, then I can... Um, as I get a feel for how it operates, then I can... Um, 
build myself. And then all I have to really do is run by Connor, um, except the week I play him, then I'll have to run it by Shadow. Um, my IV EV spreads, or my EV spreads basically is what I'll have to run against. And then just like double check um, moves. Like basically, I'll build the team and then I'll send it to Connor. I'll be like, hey, Connor, how's this look? Is this what this team's supposed to do? He can point out. No, this team should have this mod, not this mod, change this moveset a little bit, explain why, and I can learn. And that's the whole point. Um, that's one of the things, like, Connor and Shadow both really helped me realize, um, and I talked about it in the um, recap, or the transaction video. I'm learning, you guys are here watching me learn. That's the key thing, is I'm learning. And so no matter how frustrated I get with my with APA and not doing well, APA, I built a crap team. That was a team I built by myself before I took it to the front office. Had I told the front office, hey, I'm taking this over, will you help me build with it? I could have probably recovered and rebuilt that team into a manner that would have allowed me to succeed. Just like Connor helped me rebuild this team after talking to him instead of me going back to the drawing board and trying to reset this team by myself and ending up with a team that just did function right. So I'm very thankful to Connor, very thankful to Shadow for helping me first get Mim uh, Shadow getting Mimikyu, um, trade help for that, and then for Connor rebuilding this team, building this week's team builder. Going forward, it will get better. Um, thank you guys for watching. As always, check out the links in the description down below. Um, Twitter, Twitch. YouTube, or not YouTube, YouTube wouldn't be linked down there, my Twitter, my Twitch, my Discord, um, definitely check out Griffin Feathers, the beautiful, amazing artist that does all this beautiful, amazing art, I always get tongue-tied right there, the amazing artist that does all this beautiful, amazing work for me, um, with this layout, the offline screen, all the stuff that you guys see on a regular basis, definitely go check him out, and with that, I'm gonna get out of here, see you guys tomorrow for the match. Hopefully we can pick up our first win in PCF with a new team.